I mean, I've always been a clean fighter. I've been tested throughout my boxing career at all times. Uh, well, not at all times, but whenever they so deem it fit, I'm tested. And uh, there was testing. Uh, it might not be as thorough as other uh, fights. I mean, in, as far as constantly popping up in camp. Um, but at the end of the day, there has been um, testing. And it was done through the promoters, you know. It's not my job to create testing. I fight clean at all times ever since I was an amateur, a U.S. Um, striving to be an Olympian. Um, I'm prideful that even my boxing style is pretty clean. You don't see Keith Thurman being worn for low blows constantly. Uh, you don't see me being worn for the way head butts or anything like that. I always have been a clean fighter, always will be a clean fighter. And um, it's, uh, it's one of the least of my concerns. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, we've, we've watched him. He doesn't look 10 years younger. He doesn't look like his strength and conditioning is beyond a, um, a 40-year-old who is naturally an athlete, somebody who's been active for the past um, year. You know, he's been very active and he stayed in shape. So he doesn't look anything out of the norm. And whatever the promoters request, we do. There will be testing, just like every fight that's a world championship fight, before and after the fight, as, as so as the people that came and tested us uh, a few weeks ago. So, you know, I mean, that to me, that's petty stuff. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I always say take steroids if you want because you might, you might actually need it, you know. I don't really care, you know. There's a lot of people out here that fight in the streets. You know, there's heavyweights. <laughs> Popping positive, but we all know heavyweights are fat and lazy. You know, not Walter weights. Heavyweights are fat and lazy. You know, um, so it just is what it is, man. It's never been a major concern throughout my career. I test clean at every time, um, so it's whatever, man. So I wanted to drop this video to respond to the pack tars that have been saying I need to do my homework and that there is testing for this fight, which. I stay corrected. There is no VADA testing for Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. There's regular testing by the Nevada Commission, but that's not VADA testing. See, the difference between regular testing and VADA testing is when you get tested by the regular commission, you can get away with a lot of PEDs and supplements that's illegal, that's considered steroids. For example, Sandra's in the UK when he got busted for PEDs that make you 10 times stronger 10 times faster Helps you think faster and all that right when he got busted for that leading up to the Andre fight He was taking a supplement that leaves your body in 24 hours Meaning if you don't get tested in the next 24 hours All your tests will come out negative meaning you'll be tested clean Keep in mind, if it was in VADA that busted him, if he was getting tested by the Nevada Commission, they would not have been able to detect the steroids he was using. Even though he was taking a supplement that helped you lose weight, make you faster, stronger, think faster, and all the above. It's like the perfect steroid. So the Nevada Commission ain't worth a damn. It's a way to get around it. And that's been proven in the past when Pacquiao turned down the VADA testing for a Floyd Mayweather fight in 2009, which was 50-50 all around the board, pay-per-view, uh, $50 million guarantee and all the above. And he turned that fight down. The reason why? Because Floyd Mayweather requested Olympic style testing. Manny Pacquiao wanted the Nevada Commission test. Floyd Mayweather said absolutely not because he already knew that there's ways to get around it. So he requested the VADA testing and we know what happened after that. Pacquiao turned down the fight saying he's scared of needles even though he got tattoos. So either Pacquiao was dirty or he was scared of Floyd Money Mayweather. He didn't want no smoke with Floyd at the time. So which one is it? So since the Pactars want to act smart with me. I'm finna give y'all a hard time. 
And that's what y'all get when y'all mess with the Aikis. So let's keep it rolling. Alex Ariza at the time was giving Pacquiao special shakes. And Freddie Roach came out after he fired Alex Ariza. Freddie wanted to put Alex Ariza on blast. So he exposed the fact that he was giving Pacquiao these special shakes that he wouldn't tell him what he was giving Pacquiao. But in the meantime, he exposed Pacquiao as well because it's your own fighter who was taking it. So you're trying to say your fighter was on something without y'all knowing? Because that's ridiculous. Now, regardless of that, fast forward to today and you got... Manny Pacquiao not wanting to do the Olympic style testing against the Keith Thurman. And Pacquiao knowing that Keith Thurman wants this fight no matter what. He even said he fight Manny Pacquiao in the Philippines. So he took advantage of that. And now he fighting Keith Thurman without the VADA testing. They didn't put that on the contract. And we know it's not Keith Thurman's fault because Keith Thurman was willing to take the test. But apparently it's Manny Pacquiao's side. So... Y'all heard what Keith Thurman said on the interview. He said it's petty to him. He said at the end of the day, he could take steroids because he gonna need it. So if that's how he feel, if he really sleeping on Pacquiao and he's saying uh, all these heavyweights getting busted for steroids because they lazy. But when it comes to welterweights, they not. And he's sleeping on Pacquiao the way he is, where he thinks that it won't make a difference if Pacquiao is on steroids or not, then he definitely mistaken. And since I'm not the one getting in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, one time Keith Thurman is, but since he feel like it's petty to him and that Pacquiao could take steroids all he want, it won't make a difference, then it is what it is. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, at the end of the day, we want equal playing field when it comes to both fighters when they get in the ring because in the sport of boxing like i said before it ain't like you're kicking a ball you're hitting somebody in the face so you taking a supplement that increase your ability to fight and make you 10 times faster 10 times stronger think faster and all the above it's just not fair and we just want equal playing field when it comes to both fighters but like i said since keith thurman feel like it's petty then why should we be concerned i mean he agreed to it he knew what was coming he the one getting in the ring with a manny pacquiao so at the end of the day it's only affecting him shit it's gonna make even for a better fight if pacquiao is on something so at the end of the day like i said um i don't want to hear no more pack tars coming at me talking about i need to do my homework nah y'all need to do y'all homework and like i said before when pacquiao Got knocked out by Marquez and then all these Pactars started accusing Marquez for doing steroids for all the acting on his chest and on his back. And then I made a video on it and all of a sudden I became the Pactars hero. Then y'all wanted a, all fighters to be clean, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, how we know Pacquiao wasn't on something either? It's like that movie where... A fighter was fun to fight this champion that's on steroids. So what he did for it to be on an equal playing field, he did the same thing. And went and fought the guy and then they both became like unstoppable. I forgot the name of the movie. But at the end of the day, like I said, if, if both fighters are dirty, it is what it is. Now, like I said, if, if Pacquiao's clean, then take the test. You got nothing to lose. This is a big fight. What's a 15,000? That ain't nothing. Shit, Manny Pacquiao probably wipe his ass with 15000 Every time Manny Pacquiao leave his crib, he donates 15000 really. So, all I'm saying is, in the sport of boxing, we want it to be a clean sport. But if Keith Thurman think it's petty, then it is what it is. I'm, the reason I'm making this video is for the Pactars that was coming at me talking about... Oh, you need to do your homework. There is Vada testing. <laughs> no, there is not. So y'all do y'all homework and go do y'all research. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about them. And if you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these casual ass fans. And if y'all like the boxing memes that y'all see in my video, follow Lantoon Boxing 
for the funniest boxing memes on Instagram. And follow me on Instagram, Araki TV, and subscribe to my channel, Araki TV. And to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. Peace, and we out of here.